So you want to know if women find your face attractive? Well, there have been many studies done on exactly what women look for and what they actually find attractive in a masculine man. You know, like I said, there's been many studies, but there is some conclusive evidence of small things that interlink all of these studies and that what the majority of women find attractive and I'm here to share them with you in this video. So all growing up throughout my childhood, I always was held back by my looks. I always thought that I was ugly. I thought that women didn't find me attractive and this was just a self-belief that I had. You know, I believed that I was just this ugly guy. I believed that there was nothing I could do about it, but in reality, there's things that you can do to change your attractiveness and how women actually perceive you and how women rate your face on the attractive scale. So firstly, I wanna talk about what women actually look for and what they find attractive in a man. And then I'll explain how you can improve your attractiveness and get women to give you more attention through your attractiveness alone. But there are many other different factors which women find attractive, you know, they're, they're leaning towards more the dark hair compared to light hair, uh, thicker eyebrows compared to thinner eyebrows, uh, you know, smaller noses compared to bigger noses, but there's no actual conclusive evidence and these vary across many women. However, out of the large majority of women in these studies, they rate the two most attractive features as a large chiseled jaw or lower jaw structure and predominant cheekbones. You can see here that these three men, they were rated in uh, the top 10 on the uh, Vogue magazine, uh, like rating scale for the year of 2023. And you can see that there's some things that these men have in common, you know, like I said, the dark hair, the dark eyebrows, etc. But there's an overarching uh, kind of theme here of their predominant cheekbones. Like you can just see the cheekbones here, here, and here, like how predominant they are and how much they stand out. And then also the sharp and chiseled large lower jaws you know they all have these things in common these men like i said were rated on the top 10 lists of uh, the vogue magazine and you know if there's anything to base attractiveness off it is this rating who has been rated by many critiques and many uh, people who actually understand uh, what makes an attractive male now that we know that the attractive male has predominant cheekbones and a large chiseled jawline. How do we actually develop these things? Well, when it comes to the cheekbones, there are some facial exercises that you can do to actually make your cheekbones stand out more. However, I do seem to think that this is more genetic more than anything. You know, if you've won the genetic lottery and you've got these predominant cheekbones, then congratulations. However, there are some little things, like I said, exercises that you can do to develop these cheekbones. But if you don't have them, then there's nothing really you can do about it. You know, you just gotta take it on the chin and develop and control what you can. And your jawline and your lower jaw is something that you can control. It's something more to do with your lifestyle, the way you live life compared to your genetics. So everyone obviously has a jawline. They have a jaw, they have a lower jaw. However, there's some exercises you can do to make this jaw stand out more. You can go on YouTube, you can go on Google look up these exercises that you can do for the jaw to make it stronger and more predominant. But something simple that you can do right now that everyone could do, which really made a difference in my life was to just lower your body fat. You know, get in the gym, get in a calorie deficit and lower your body fat. And you'll start to see your jawline become a lot more predominant and take a lot more of a better, more masculine shape. So I encourage you to drop your body fat percentage if it is quite high. And you'll start to see that your jawline and your, your neck area becomes a lot more shredded, a lot more chiseled. And like I said, this is probably the number one thing that women look for. And you can simply achieve this by just losing weight, by shredding some body fat off and then having this predominant jawline. You know, it's so simple, it's so easy to just, you know, get in the gym, lose some weight. People make it daunting, they make it hard. But if you watch the right videos, if you watch my channel and uh, there's many other good channels out there that describe the perfect way to just lose weight, then this jawline will kind of come naturally with that and you'll have more confidence, you'll get more attention from women and like I said, they'll find you more attractive because this overarching majority of women do like this chiseled kind of strong jawline. So if I was to give you an actionable step right now, it would be to, if you are overweight, then just try and shred some of that body fat away and you'll start to see your jawline become more predominant. And like I said, women love predominant cheekbones and predominant jawlines and the cheekbones maybe not so much controllable but the jawline definitely is you could do this by shredding some body fat have a good day king